Hi, this is Rita Holmes. I'm just getting set up to do a video with you on a card. Uh, I forgot to turn my iPad down. There we go. As you can see, my sign for my help wanted for hobbyist, part time, or full time demonstrators. Um, I'd love to, I want to grow my team, and I'd love to um, have you join me if you're not already a demonstrator or not connected to one. You can contact me at Rita Holmes via email at RitaHolmes0611 at gmail.com. So, um, anyway, I'm here to tell you that I am going to um, do a fun fold card tonight. Um, I usually tell you that I'm doing um, techniques, which this is kind of a technique. Um, I'm going to be doing fun fold. I'm going to do a series of it on my Tuesday morning Facebook lives that I do, which is over at um, Stamp Crazy VIP, which you're more than welcome to come. You can get the directions. This will be a PDF that after tomorrow when I do my, um, well, not after tomorrow, you'll see this after I'm done. Um, but anyway, this will be over on my uh, Facebook um, Stamp Crazy VIP group page in the files and this is all the um, stuff I'm using to make the card all of the products and then how I've made it so um, I'm going to show you some samples and show you my fold so that you'll be able to see that um, here's my card that we're going to be making it says maybe Christmas mean perhaps means a little bit more and I put Christmas begins with Christ. Merry Christmas on the inside. So this is my fun folk card, which is really just a four and a quarter by four and a quarter card. It's square. When I put my topping on, it makes it five and a half. So, um, and then you open it up. It does fit into an A2 size envelope. And I think it's really cute. They're really easy to make. I'm going to show you some samples of different ones that I've made. Um, for my main card, I use the stamp sets for Unto Us, Christmas Gleaming, and Christmas Means More. So here's some of my samples. Um, here's one I did with the nativity scene, the peaceful nativity. And I just used, um, that and for Unto Us. The both stamp sets are on this one. And I did more of an inspirational religious card, which I really, really, really like. Um, this is known for the holidays. And I just did the holly jolly everything. And then there's no place like known for the Christmas season, um, which I thought's a fun little card. And here I did the little snowman that's melting that said, Sadly, Frosty's first hot cocoa turned out to be his last. And I just put let it snow on the inside. So this could actually be a card anytime. It doesn't have to be a Christmas card or anything. You can use this anytime. And if you noticed, I put the little snowflake sequins on it. If you can see those. And this one I use Merry Moose. And it just says Merry Christmas. And then enjoy the stillness of the season. And that's the only stamp set I used on it. And... All of these are cut four and, a, four and a quarter by eight and a half, and when folded, it's a four and a quarter by four and a quarter card. And then I measure my tops to make sure I get to five and a half inches. So that is my samples that I did to be able to show you that you can do all different kinds of cards. I've used circles, I've used squares, you can also use like the ovals. If you were doing birthday cards, you could actually put a flower up here. You could do so many different things with them to make them look different. Um, so anyway, I'm going to get started on my card. This one right here. So we'll, we'll just lay it here for a minute. I'm going to take my Mossy Meadow cardstock and I'm going to fold it in half to make my four and a quarter by four and a quarter card. And then I'm going to go ahead and I've got all of my die cuts already cut just to save some time. But I'm going to go ahead and put my front on here so that um, 
we'll have some of that done. This is a very, very easy fun fold card. Um, it doesn't really have any wow factors as far as the fold is concerned, but it does have... I'm going to have to throw this glue away. It's not in there. I hope this one is. I go through a lot of glue. But anyway, it is, it's just a very basic card that gives a little bit of wow factor. It's not just a card you open up. It has your focal point on the top. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just lay this down. And make sure that it's on there. Okay, now I'm going to do my stamping real quick. So, um, this is, I'll show you the dies that I used to be easier. This is the stitched shaped die framelits. And I used the largest square for my Whisper White. And then on my layering squares, I used my biggest square that comes with that set and then for my circles I used you can see this starts your smaller dies this is your larger dies and you can tell that by your middle circle so out of the smaller die set I used the second oval I mean the second circle for no, I use this one over here. Out of the larger dies, I use the second circle for my Whisper White, and then I use the third circle over here on my smaller on my smaller dies, which these are the smaller, for my Mossy Meadow for my circles. And that's the die cuts that I used. So let's set them out of the way because that's a lot in my way. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to take the memento, well actually I did not, I took Mossy Meadow, and I'm going to stamp my, um, holly, I'll find my holly, here it is, I'm going to stamp my holly onto my circle here, I'm just going to ink that up. And stamp that on there. And there we go. So there, I'm going to let that dry for a second. And while that's drying, I'm going to take this, the large stitched square, and I'm going to stamp my saying in the Mossy Meadow. I need to put a piece of colored paper under there so I can see where I'm at. But we're going to wing it. So I'm going to press down and make sure I get that really good. And there's our saying there. While I have my ink out, I'm going to take on the inside, I'm going to do my inside piece here in my um, Mossy Meadow, and that way we're going to get all of our stamping done. Looks like I have it all inked. So I don't know if you can see that. So that's all inked, and then I'm going to get out the real red. And I'm going to stamp my Merry Christmas at the bottom. And there we go. That's the inside of our card and the outside of our card. Okay. I am going to go ahead and adhere this into my inside of my card. 
there's a lot of pieces for your die cutting and stuff that you do with this. So we're just going to lay that inside. Rub it down. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Christmas means more. And I'm going to add that to the front here. And I'm going to add my berry piece to my piece here. And I got it a little off, so I'm going to pull it up. I never can get my circles just right. But that's me. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take, I'm using the light and dark green and apple green and the light and dark real red and Wink of Stella. That's my colors that I'm going to use on these little um, leaves right here. I'm just going to color them in. I'm not going to try to shade or anything. That's way too small for my liking of trying to shade and then I'm going to bring in and I've lost my pick tool that belongs in here with me but he's kind of got moved somewhere but I want to take these little red rhinestones and I'm going to add them right here to my card front little piece I'd be much better with the pick tool than with this but this is a tool I've had in my stash since gosh I don't even know it's been a little way before my stamping up years that's for sure and I have one everywhere I sit so Okay, there's my f um, piece for the top of my card. Now, before I color my um, holly, I'm going to show you how I put this together. I don't know if you can see this or not, because I did not pull it. Let me get a piece of this paper. It'll work really well. Because what I want to show you is how I line my card up to know what I'm doing. So I'm using the inches. As you can see, the uh, see if I can get this up at here in your light to where you can see the numbers. Okay, here we go. As you see, this I'm going to use this as my ruler. So I'm going to lay my card with my top up here, my bottom down at the... And I want my card to not be any taller than five and a half inches so it fits in an A2 envelope. So what I'm going to do is on the bottom portion, just like the bottom, not even the third, I'm going to add some glue if you can see like that I just add some glue and then what I want to do is I'm going to take my piece and I'm going to put it right here at this five and a half inch mark and lay it down now I've got the glue on there it doesn't mean that I centered it yet and I'm just going to move it around and therefore my card now is a five and a half by four and a quarter card and that way it's going to fit into an A2 size envelope. Let's lay it down. And it doesn't matter if you get it a little under that five and a half, but you really don't want to go over so it fits in that envelope. So I really wanted to show you how, how you do that because it um, makes all the difference. If you just slap it on there, you might not get it to where it needs to go. Now I'm going to co color this little piece. I'm going to color my berries. I'm going to use the 
I'm actually going to use my dark red real quick and I'm just going to outline my berries a little bit. And then I'm going to take my light red and I'm going to color that in and it should give me a little bit of variation there. And then I'm going to wink a stell of those when I get after I get my green done. And if there's not a lot of shading that showed through, I'll just bring this back in and very lightly, just wisp, wispy, like I'm not setting it down to really color. And I'm just adding some dark in there. Okay, so there's my berries. Now we're going to do my um, Granny Apple Green. I'm going to take the darker one. And I'm just going to kind of do these veins a little bit. And, and under these berries. In between the berries there where there's green. And then I'm going to come back in with my light. And I'm just going to give that some color. I love using the brush tip better than I do the small tip because you can just swirl that around and it wets that dark color back up and blends it better. Granny Apple Green is not the color, and I used the Plaid Tidings paper, and that's not a color in there, but it, um, really blends well to kind of stand out on top of that card a little bit. So there's my Holly done. Now I'm going to bring in my Wink of Stella, and I'm just going to go around my berries. And that'll give them a shimmer. So what we're going to do next to finish our card, I've got some sheer real red ribbon. And I'm just going to put it underneath my front flap. And cut it. And tie a knot to one side. I'm more of a knot tire than a bow tire, um, just because I'm, I don't like to tie bows, especially when I'm using one big piece of ribbon. If I add a bow, I like to add it separately to my card. So I'm going to take, I want to pull that kind of tight. Looks like I'm all thumbs, doesn't it? And then I'll trim this up a little bit. And then I'm going to take my berries and I'm just going to put some I only have mini dots in here right now so we're going to take and put about five mini dots over the back of this if I can get a hold of it there we go So we're just going to take those off. 
and I'm going to take my berries and just lay it over my ribbon. And there's our card. So just remember, the main thing about remembering these is to not get your card any taller than a five and a half. Um, because you want it to fit in that A2 envelope. They're very easy cards. Very, very easy. I'm going to show you all the samples again. Of course, this is the same card. So this is actually the one we made tonight. And then we have our moose. We have our snowman, we have our gnomes, and we have our nativity scene. So those are the cards that I've done. Do I've done other cards in the past with this technique, but this is just cards I want to make with different sets and let you see them for Christmas, how cute they look, and um, hope that you try them. Um, if you would, I'd like for you to share my YouTube page, and I also would like for you to give me a thumbs up if you liked my video, or give me a comment in the comments. I would surely appreciate it, and um, until I get another video done, I think I am pretty much done here tonight, and I hope everyone has a good evening, and um, we will see you soon. Okay? Thank you and have a great day. Bye.